Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this amazing, wonderful, sunny morning. God is so good. Praise the Lord. Mark um, chapter 4 and looking at verse 19. But the worries of the world and the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things enter and choke the word. So we get a bit of a description of what the thorns represent in the life that the seed is sown amongst the thorns. The thorns are the deceitfulness of life and the desire for other things. You know, we have to make a choice. Are we going to take on board the value system that we've known, the world, or are we going to reinvest ourselves in the value system and the purposes of God. If life is about you and meism and everything else that benefits us and who cares about the rest of the world, then we are moving away from God's value system. When God came to save the world, he came to save the whole world. Everyone is important to God. And when we get that perspective, we fill ourselves up with a bigger vision about who we are as human beings. But if all we do is concern ourselves with ourselves, then we're no different from what we were before. We're still living what I call a meism life, a life driven by me and my desires. But me and my desires is the problem. It's what got me into the mess before. It's what kept me away from God. It's what separated me from God. It's what allowed me to develop a sinful nature that drew me into my own world enterprise. No, we have to make a choice. And the reason why the thorn seed didn't survive is because all of the temptations and the desires of the soul and the flesh were just taking control of him. So uh, the worries of this world, the worries of this world, never learning how to manage problems, the worry of this world, the deceitfulness, deceitfulness of wealth, oh, wealth, the pursuit of wealth, the love of money, says the scripture, is the root of all evil. But the pursuit of wealth, the, the just going to get the stuff. I don't care. I just need the stuff. I remember when I was a, a, a young Christian and I came out of Borstal and uh, all I wanted was just to get the stuff. I needed a car. I needed a girlfriend. I needed clothes. I needed money. I needed records. Just go get the stuff. Fill me with the, the latest eight track I think we had then in the beginning. And, uh, you know, the, just need the stuff. Don't care where I get it from. I go and get the stuff. But the stuff, brothers and sisters, is just part of the thorns of our lives. Whether we mismanage problems or we just want to get the stuff and invest ourselves in just enjoyment and, and self-enterprise. If we do that, we're no different from what we were before we gave our lives to Jesus. But when we truly give our lives to Jesus and we recognise that we're not about that stuff anymore, it's not that we don't have it or that we can't have it or that it's wrong in and of themselves. They're not wrong. There's some bait. There might be some of them that's wrong. But by and large, they're right. God has given us the world to enjoy. But our focus can't be on the stuff. Our focus has to be on God and his value system, and his world, and the brokenness in humanity. And taken on board, as it were, if I give my life away, then I will gain my life, Jesus said. And God wants you to gain your life back. But you have to trust Jesus' word to do it. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great uh, Friday, and have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you on Monday morning. God bless you.